How's it going, Teal Boys? It is update day for the college football revamped mod. Version 9 is officially out, and this could be one of the biggest uh, game-changing updates that we've seen so far, which is crazy. They continue to outdo themselves with the updates that they're bringing. This time around, we get some stuff that actually will affect your gameplay. So let's get right into it. The important stuff, the AI's Play calling logic has been changed both offensively and defensively. You should start to see the AI changing up the way that they call plays. Now before, I believe it was that AI teams could only choose from about 35 plays in their playbook to run. And they would just pretty much run the entire playbook no matter what the down and distance. Now they have every play available to them, but it's changed beyond just that first down second down and third and short and fourth and short they'll be have access to call any of those plays that they want but on third and long or fourth and long they're restricted to play calling for draw plays non-play action shotgun passes and some screens as well so you won't see them just going with a halfback dive on third and 18 at least that's the goal defensively the play calling has been changed and the mod team has gone ahead and made it so that uh the defensive play calling will match ncaa league averages so this means that 32 percent of the time the defense is going to be running in a man 26 percent of the time they'll be running a cover three a cover four or a cover six 16 percent of the time the defense will blitz 11 percent of the time they'll run a cover two and 1% of the time, they're going to run a cover zero blitz, just basically bringing everything. Believe it or not, not just the play calling, but some logic on when they do a couple of things changes. So they will start to go no huddle from the two minute mark instead of the one minute mark more frequently in the second quarter. So a little bit more sense of urgency there. On fourth and short, the AI is going to be more likely to go for it. And you'll be seeing shorter field goal attempts as the threshold for when they decide whether or not they're going to attempt a field goal has been shortened or reduced by three yards. So if you're like me and you like to cheese the uh, field goal kick return and try to get those kick sixes, it's going to be a little bit less likely. And that's, I believe, it for the AI play calling logic changes. But equally as important is the addition of over 1,100 new plays, including 500 unique plays that were just all added. 10 formations have either been added or edited, and some base game plays have been edited as well to correct some alignment stuff. Now, not only have they added in new plays, but they've created a tool which will allow you to create plays and to create a playbook of your own so long as you are on the computer using the RPCS3 emulator or on the PlayStation. I don't believe it works with the Xbox yet. In addition to all these gameplay changes, they've also, of course, um, done some updates to graphics or, or visuals. They've uh, changed some uniform stuff. So teams like Georgia, Alabama, Virginia, Michigan, um, and a bunch of others now have some fixes to their uniform updates just to make things a little bit better they've added in turf tape now but uh so far i think it's just on the medium skin tone so i'm not sure what the change exactly is but turf tape is something that's awesome and um will look pretty cool they have fixed freezing issues when trying to create team builder dynasties using the mod so previously if you had a save with the team builder and you downloaded the mod that that dynasty would work but you couldn't necessarily create a new team builder dynasty that is now available so if you're you know trying to bring the pandas into the revamp mod and you didn't already have a panda save you can do that now and there's a couple of other small tweaks here and there let's go ahead and look at a few of the new plays so if you don't know how to create a playbook this will become important if you're trying to utilize the new plays because i don't believe they are in any of the default playbooks or like the team specific ones so you will have to make a new playbook to gain access to these i think at least that's how it is for now also you might notice something this is a, a feature that's been available for a while but we have the buttons changed um if you've been watching our series 
you know that we've been using PlayStation buttons, but I've been throwing to the wrong receivers all the time because I'm using an Xbox controller and I've used an Xbox controller for pretty much the entire time I've played this game. Well, they actually have made it so that you can change what buttons show up. So now we have Xbox buttons. Uh, I, I've lost an excuse when I make a mistake throwing. So hopefully uh, our, our passing improves, but uh, if it doesn't, well, that's going to be a shame because that's one less thing I can blame. But anyways, you come in, you make your playbook. This is a sneak peek at the one that we'll be using next season for Coastal Carolina, but there's going to be some things tweaked. If you're watching this on the day that it's uploaded, we're going to go live on Twitch and spend the day just creating new plays and editing our playbook even more. So it's going to be pretty crazy. We're going to try to put in the Philly special, um, all sorts of stuff like that. But right off the bat, we want to look at the new plays. And the biggest one for me that I, I've played around with these a couple days ago, the fake fly flea flicker out of the ace big, a lot of alliteration there. Um... It's a, it's a great play. We'll run a couple of these, but any of these plays with an asterisk next to them are plays that have been added in. So you can see there's a ton of them. Um, we can just continue like every single one of these uh, formations for the most part has new plays. Um, and, you know, some of them are going to be pretty impressive. Wisconsin power there. Um, there's a few trick plays here and there. There's a bunch of new screens. They've changed the way that a bunch of screens work just like where blockers are going and what routes are being run and one of the big things that's been added is the ability to run an rpo um it's something that is a big part of football these days but wasn't necessarily at the time of ncaa 14 so that's been added in uh you can see here the rpo qb power screen you have the option either to run that qb power towards the right side of the line or you've got the screen to that uh, x button receiver out on the left and I gotta say it works pretty well you've also got stuff like this jailbreak screen but let's go ahead and uh, we'll load into a practice mode and run a couple of these plays uh, and at the same time I just want to see what the uh, the turf tape looks like um, so again I, I think it's only available on uh, the medium skin tone so sorry cave on we're changing you for a second here well, I actually think they might have made a typo in their patch notes because the medium skin tone, we don't have turf tape. But when we go to the dark skin tone in the game, you can see now that there's turf tape. It's something that, you know, it's, it's a small change, but it's, I mean, how many players use it these days? It just adds to the realism. And, uh, you know, I th I'm assuming they'll get this worked out even better, but uh, I love that they've added this in. Alrighty, so we'll run a couple of these new plays early on. Oh man, it seems so weird seeing the Xbox buttons, but I, I love that we have the uh, option to do it. So we're going to try the flea fl flicker a couple of times first here. We'll get one that works and uh, we'll see. Man in motion. We get bad good coming in. We hand it off to Reese. He turns around, pitches it back to us. And it's not going to work every time because obviously it's a flea flicker, but uh, eventually I think that we'll get one to work. So we get bed good in motion, handing it off to Reese. He pitches it back. We have to avoid the pressure, but bed good is oh, <laughs> making a dive. Did a beautiful catch there. So this is the new jailbreak screen. Uh, you can see the play art. It looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can get this one to work. And look at the blocking out in front. Bed good. If you know, if he would have got a better start to the run, it would have worked properly. We'll run it one more time just to see if uh, the success rate's decent. Maybe one more. I got to imagine the success rate can be pretty solid. So we'll see what we can do. I think on this one, we actually need to wait for the defensive end to come in towards us. Um, you know, a lot of these plays, you have to try to figure out the best way to run them, of course. But against the zone, you know, you have a decent chance to pick up a lot of yards. Now, there are a ton of different plays, but this is the last one we'll feature the rpo um not the easiest just with uh you know the way that the camera zooms out because it's kind of hard to tell if tyson mobley over there on the left side is going to pick up his block but we can step back and say oh i don't want it we already have the blocking downfield to just go in grayson see when you have a good running quarterback it works but this time we can go ahead and throw it to uh Dion fountain who was getting a block from tyson mobley and it works pretty well we'll 
Try that a couple times. See if I can actually throw to the correct receiver. And yeah, look at that. So if if they're lined up weird or I don't think it's going to work, well, we can just take off. And uh, if the blocking's there, then it's going to work pretty dang well. Like, look at that. A lot of room to work with. <laughs> if you got jukes like Dion does, you could be scoring some big touchdowns. I mean, look at how often we've scored touchdowns uh, on this drive or on this play so far. Now, there's also the ability to create your own plays with this. You have to download this tool separately. It's going to take a little bit of work. Definitely read the README, and I'm going to be making a separate video on how to use this playbook editor, but we will open up our playbook file, and it will load in here, and we can choose what formation we want to change stuff, and you can change a lot of stuff. So one that's really cool to me is that you can change potentially some um special team stuff so it's like everybody knows the specific routes uh for uh fake field goal for instance so we can go and, and you can highlight which player does what so let's say we want this tight end who normally just kind of runs a crossing route to run something else well we can change exactly uh what route they're running so you can see there's all these different types of routes that you can choose from um, and then within that, you can choose like the type of route. So let's say instead of a short out route, we want him to run like this whip route, right? So we can go through all these different options and just change what this man does. So there we get him doing that. And then maybe we want the kicker to run a, a different route. So we can have them go and... We can have them go run like a wheel route. So we'll just scroll through until we find one that we like. Um, probably preferably to the other side, but you can see just how many options are available, which is like so phenomenal. So we would do that. We would, you know, eventually, you know, save the playbook. Um, and then, you, you know, we could go and do so many other things. When you're going to spike the ball, maybe you want to get a little bit weird with it. You could uh, change where somebody is or, or what they do on the on the spike. You know, it, it, even if it doesn't do anything, you can just, you know, have a little bit of fun with it. And now that I think about it, I don't necessarily know if this would work. Uh, we'll be testing all this stuff again today on my Twitch, but you could potentially run this spike, come out in this formation, and then put the QB in a drop back. And then maybe you take uh, this running back and put them on a little slant route or something. So like we've just changed the spike completely and essentially have made a fake spike in the game. And you can even go so far as to change your kick return stuff, right? So um, let's say we want to change exactly where somebody blocks. Or we don't, we, you know, we don't want that lead blocker for us, so we could go and change what type of blocking they do. I don't exactly know how all this works, but again, it's just the ability to be able to change stuff. Like, look at this. We can change the way that the onside kick works. So maybe we find uh, a way with one of these that seems to work better. Let's go ahead and take this wide receiver three and have them do something weird, you know? Like, oh, instead of just running straight, we're going to have them run out towards the edge a little bit. There's also a bunch of different options. Uh, we can change how we view the play art so that it looks maybe a little bit different. Uh, we could it, we could full screen this and it would look even better. But, um, you know, maybe with the field, we want to add the holes so that we can think, OK, that's the one gap. That's the zero so that when we're when we're naming our plays even uh, that works because we can go edit play data here and we can rename the onside kick to the goon special so like legitimately if we figure out how to make the philly special we can call it that um, so you would do that you would update it all that jazz you can edit your formations i don't exactly know how all this works there will be more information and again i'll make a standalone video on how to how to use this um but yeah, I just wanted to give a little sneak peek and, and just all the different possibilities. It seems like this is going to be fantastic. But that's a good recap of everything that's uh, changed in this new version 9 of the College Football Revamped mod. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, leave maybe some ideas for some plays that you want to see us try to recreate. 
And if you want to take an active role in the play creation, and you're seeing this on the day that it's uploaded, uh, February 27th, head on over to our Twitch. We're going to be live for a long time today, I think, making a bunch of plays and trying to see what kind of trickeration that we can come up with for the Teal Boys for next season. If you enjoyed this video, if you like it when I make these uh, update videos, let me know uh, if you want to stay informed when updates come out and immediately know you know what's changed please feel free to subscribe it means the world to me and while you're down there of course head to the description where you'll find links to our twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster there's also a link to my twitter and our community discord but regardless thank you guys so much for watching my name is goonmaster you guys are the teal boys and wherever you are have a good night or have a good morning and we'll see you later adios